is your WNEM-TV5 News Update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. A look at the top stories we're following today. Genesee County Board of Commissioners approving a $3 surcharge for County 911 to be voted on by you in the August primary. The Genesee County 911 Communication Center is central dispatch for more than 30 municipalities. The surcharge would fund operating costs for the call center, which could run out of money by 2026. Flushing's Mayor Joseph Karlicek says 911 took over 450,000 calls last year, and voters will decide if it passes August 6th. Two people officially charged in the January death of Michigan State Trooper Joel Pop, Duncan Irving of Atlanta, Michigan, charged with failure to pass an emergency car with care causing death. And Brooke Allen of Haslett is charged with driving while drunk causing death. Irving is accused of hitting Trooper Pop after Pop pulled Allen over on I-75 and Birch Run for a traffic stop. These felonies come with possible 15-year sentences. They're in court again next Wednesday. And Ascension Michigan is working through what it's calling a disruption in technology. As unusual activity was found on its network Wednesday, authorities were notified. Ascension then started procedures to make sure patient care was not impacted or minimally impacted and says if sensitive information was affected, it will notify patients. The disruption comes seven months after McLaren just had a ransomware attack. And now we have First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Manjo here with your forecast. Thank you, Blake. As we go into this Thursday, we are tracking a cooler day. That's definitely the big story, but also a couple of isolated to scattered showers. Not much rain expected for today. That best chance also for Chesaning, Birch Run, Owasso, Flint, and Lapeer. Anywhere north of there, just expecting some highly isolated rain showers. Really, overall, not too much rain for today. The big story is still actually going to be the cooler temperatures. And even for your Friday, we'll see a mostly cloudy sky return during the afternoon. After a little bit of a brighter morning, could bring a stray spring on Friday afternoon too, but that chance tomorrow only at about 10% or less. Highs for today though, only into about the middle to upper 50s. You'll actually be stuck in the 40s if you're on the shoreline of Lake Huron with the northeasterly wind. And going into the weekend here, Saturday, still the better chance of rain for the weekend. So actually some good news for Mother's Day on Sunday, even though we are tracking still a few isolated showers on Sunday, that does relatively look to be a little bit drier than what we're expecting for your Saturday. And temperatures eventually coming back up by then as well. We'll eventually be back to 67 on Sunday and then middle to upper 60s or even some lower 70s early to mid next week. So the cool down that settles in for today, it looks like it's only here for just a couple of days. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.